The phenomenon of climate change continues to wreak havoc in the world, and Ghana is no exception. Many parts of the country are recording abnormal flood situations and severe temperatures. Recognizing this, the Environmental Protection Agency has structured a stakeholder training to assemble climate activists, local government officials and technical experts to develop climate-conscious strategies for future development plans. According to the Director of Climate Vulnerabilities and Adaptation at EPA, Dr. Enchibo Shiaku Amoa, the effort is to allow the assemblies to appreciate the diverse climate challenges and opportunities within their respective districts. So you have some coming from the coastal community, Cape Coast, you have some from the Middle Belt. Then you also have the transitional zone, so you have Wenchi, and Tampo, and then Savannah in the northern part. So you have Tamale, you have um, Wale Wale, you also have Navrongo. Each of these ecological zones represents seven climatic um, conditions, and so it will allow them to be able to appreciate the differences and then how they can share common understanding. Climate change is a cross-sectoral issues and so people might see different issues from different perspectives. The workshops which cover a range of topics including vulnerability assessments and climate finance access sought to equip participants with real-life representations of technical knowledge of climate change issues. The participants were taken on a field visit to Fawadi in the Bekwai Municipal Assembly to ascertain the uncovered pits of illegal mining in the area and their replication on climate. The team also checked on some areas in Anyuankwanta where there have been perennial floods due to the Oda River overflow. Dr. Enchibo Siaku indicates the field visit will inform future support to helping vulnerable communities build resilience against the adverse effects of climate change. It's not like just going to be a talk. Um, so we are going to actually make sure that we follow up with the plan that the choir has and see whether some of the things that they were talking about, we can support the assembly um, to structure these issues and then look for financing to be able to address some of these issues. Municipal Chief Executive for Bekwai, Kweku Che Bafo, says professed recommendations from the team will influence the development plan for the municipality. Uh, the, the, um, or that river basin. They've said a lot about how we need, what we need to do so that it will, it will, it will make life meaningful for those who, who farm around the place and who have built close to the place, which they have to relocate when any time at all it floods. Like, previously, it's about 10 years, 15 years before it gets flooded. By this time, it's year. Uh, and so we have uh, assembly, we have sat, we have got to fashion out. And so, and so we have, we have a 10 year development plan. We're going to incorporate whatever you have said in here. If they are not in, we are going to put it in there and work on, and, and work on it. Reporting for joining us, my name is Clinton Yeboah.